Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to Always Forever Creations. My name is Stephanie, and in today we are doing part two of the travel journal. I am editing the videos right now, and if you watched the last video, you know I decided to break it up into two parts, and I actually don't have the journals anymore. Um, I did gift them away already. Um, but yes, here is part two. We are going to work on the inside cover now. I hope you enjoy jumping right back into the project. Now let's do our pockets. I did three pockets. I know I made them three high. I think I did them four wide. Yes. Okay. And I have the same paper, this paper. I'm cutting it down off camera. Um, and then three, three inches tall each. Does that make sense? And then, I think I used my big one. That's like, so much larger. What? All right, you get them lined up as best as possible. And I moved. Come on. I have to have it like facing me so I can tell if it's in the center. And then I still don't usually get it in the center. All right, the old paper again. And I'm going to ink all of them like that. So they are stacked like this. And I just want to leave enough room at the top to be able to put a tag in there um, and have it not stick out here. And also want it on this edge or on this side of the eyelet yep right there should be good and i'm only gluing on two sides because this pocket is going to be like a full length pocket just need to make sure i get it in place a good place Okay, and then the next one, again, only two sides. Probably should look how far to put this down to where this one looks good. And you also don't want uh, to see the bottom of this pocket in your notch here. And this one will be glued on three sides. And that will get placed right there. There we go. Already, let's decorate. So I used, oh, I gotta find the pieces. I don't have them here. Okay, I used tags to kind of decorate all of this. And I 
did cut this one tag down. I just used the top of another tag to do it. Here we go, pretty. All right, where's my little stack of things? that one so I will just put this here and then oh this doesn't really work for this one does it okay here and there we'll do that I like it okay um since I cut I need to re-ink that didn't ink this one on my last one. All right, that goes there. This one's cut off because I printed some labels and I wanted them larger than, I wanted some of them that were larger than their actual size. So some of them got completely cut off. I only got like half the label. Okay, and then this one goes up in here. And then I just put a little bit of washi tape here. Okay, pockets are done. I have to go get my son up and ready for school and I will be right back. My son is at school, <sighs> trying to prep a little bit more, getting sucked into a show, a new show. <laughs> well, it's an old show, but it's new to me. Anyway, all right, I have this tag. I just used some of that paper bag put on top and it's backed with coffee paper. And again, this is just like to have a little placeholder um, or, yeah, something just that just indicates that this pocket is the full length of the journal. And it probably needs to be thicker paper, but all right. In there, it's not coming out now. Okay, where were we? We finished this. We need a belly band here. We need to make the little booklets. I have cut out my papers and kind of got them ready for the two booklets so let's work on that. I rounded the corners I had to reprint this one because I cut instead of scored so and instead of trying to mend it I just reprinted it so it'd be right. All right I'm gonna move this out of the way really quick gonna need my stapler. I did staple these. Oh, I should have inked this. Okay, 
that's all inked. Just gonna go around the edge. I don't know if I inked this one on the other one. I did, I did ink the inside. We are inked. This is the front, this is the front. Try not to make things upside down again. Alrighty. Let's get our pages in. So this one is just some coffee dyed paper. There's four pages here. Paper clips are helpful, but oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Round corners. Oh. Is that in, doesn't, it feels off, yeah. It is not in place. Come on. Get in, oh my goodness. Should not be this difficult. Okay, now. I'm gonna put the staples in this way because I'm putting a ribbon on the outside. Um, this never works out perfectly. I don't know how to get it to be perfectly. I'm sure there's some fancy tool out there that you can get to make it better, but. Okay. Shift into place. And then smush these down as best as possible. Okay. There we go. They are in. Not too pokey. And then I put this over it. What glue did I use? I don't know. But I'm gonna use this one now. I like having shine and sparkle on my projects. It makes me happy. I need a little more glue here. This is my front, and then I have a 
label that one or this one. Also, whichever one doesn't go on this one's gonna go on this one. Okay, like that. This one is now done. Next. Get our pages in. Was that the center? Is this the center? It is the center. Wow. Okay. Oh, the corners again. I think little notebooks like this are fun to make and also they're very easy to make and you can make it as simple or as complicated as you want. But they're really nice additions to any kind of journaling project. So on this one, I'm gonna go this way. So these need to be tucked in pretty well because these are not going to be covered. They're just going to be in the center of the book. Come on. It's ruining my nail polish. And I like the, the center of the signature sticking out here. I don't like that that is popping up. Well, I got messy really quickly, of course. It will dry clear, yes, okay. So that is that looking good. Okay, this one I did put some pockets on the inside made out of tags and not going to glue them in upside down. All right, so this corner needs to be rounded to match that one. And then I just glued the two sides There we go. This one goes in the back of the book. Now what I need to decide is if I'm going to do something washi tape related on the inside here. Because on my last one, I glued 
these pockets in upside down. So I had to rip, I glued them up here. So I had to rip them off and then I had like a bunch of torn paper and I hit it with washi tape. See? So do I want to add some here? Sorry, I just, I kind of, <laughs> I like how it looks here better than I did here. So yeah, I'm just ripping this off because I can. Oh, you're kind of starting to see the ripped paper though. It's alrighty. All right, so yeah, maybe I can just add a little on top here just to bring some cohesiveness between both of them. Not that I think that's important, but I don't know if they'll compare. Why doesn't mine have that washi tape? Or why does mine and yours doesn't? Yours doesn't, I don't know. That's silly of me to think, but you never know. Alrighty, there we go. Now, this one is done. Put this one back so we don't get them mixed up. Okay, now what? Now, I'm gonna set these booklets aside. I'll put them in at the end. Now we need to make our belly band here. And I already do have these prepped. This is from an envelope digital kit, again, from the same artist that did this, the background paper. And I don't think you can get it, but I am quite positive there are lots of envelope digital kits out there. So you can definitely find something that you would like if you wanted something with like this. Okay, so how am I gonna do this? I think like this, yeah, I like that, okay. So I'm gonna glue this piece down first, just at the bottom. Okay, and then this one will need to be glued at the very top and then down here. Yes, sweetie. Okay, hold on. Here we go, and now we have a belly band. <laughs> Pretty. Alrighty, let's add a little bit of bling. Uh, maybe, come off. There we go. 
Okay, so now we need to put something in here and I have that ready to go too. So what, what did I do? I glued this on about halfway or so. Make sure there's no glue sipping out that happened on my last one and then i folded it in half so the tag lined up with this edge and this again was just to show that this is a belly band and you can put stuff in here because if there wasn't anything in here i feel like you wouldn't know Potentially, very potentially. Okay, also I need to stop spilling beads everywhere. I lost so many of them. Go back in, no. Okay, I need to put this on too. I just looped it through the eyelet here. Okay, come on. That's done. I think all we need to do is put our booklets in and it is done. So fun. I love it. Oh, I can't believe I did it. <laughs> And hopefully this won't be too long. Like I didn't show you every single step, but you know, straightforward and it could be touched on in other videos and things like that. So, you know, sometimes you just have to get things done, right? But still want to be able to share and encourage y'all to make some fun things. Alrighty, I forgot to do so on the other one, but I do want to add in paper clip here and there just so they can clip things in as well. I feel like on trips now you don't really collect as much paper as maybe you used to, but I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if they get some postcards or something that they want to save that can be clipped in. This is what we made today and I really like it. Have a beautiful belly band and some fun little notebooks with pockets and lines and non-lines. Three more pockets here. A 
fun tag that, again, is just a placeholder to kind of show that this pocket goes the full length of the journal. And here is the other one I made. I am so happy. I love how it turned out. <sighs> and I got it done. <laughs> this one did go much faster because I knew what I was doing after I make, made this one. Still made some mistakes though, so, you know, that's how it goes. I am sorry if this process seemed a little rushed, but I am on a time constraint. I see Carolyn and Lauren tomorrow for their egg hunt, and that's when I have the opportunity to give these to them, because then they are going to be off on their grand Europe adventure. I am very happy that I was able to kind of squeeze this project in. Um, so if, if it feels rushed, it was, but I'm crafting for my real life in my real life. And sometimes that's how it goes. But thank you so much for joining me. If you are still here, I hope you feel inspired and motivated and get some good crafting time in today. If you are new and haven't subscribed yet, please consider. I have a big goal of meeting 1000 subscribers before 2025. And I know there are so many new people here already, and I'm so happy you're here. And I hope I get to interact with you more and more as, you know, time goes on. Anyway, thank you again. Let's get together again soon.